guys welcome back to my channel today we are going to be diving into uh, you guys know it's like the most powerfulest money tool that there is out there and everybody is pretty much hopping on the bandwagon of this way to help control your finances which is pretty much the cash envelope system so i am going to be actually explaining how to get started with the cash envelope system a lot of you guys have been actually messaging me you said you do like the videos where i kind of explain a little bit about like budgeting and things like that so i just felt like i would pretty much do a video like that and um so hopefully this will answer all of you guys questions that have been messaging me so if you are pretty much tired of overspending constantly saying i don't have enough money until my next paycheck or i'm living paycheck to paycheck or you just want to pretty much say hey i am in control of my finances then this is the system that is exactly what you probably need so let's get started before before we hop into that you guys know if you have not already clicked on the subscribe button please make sure to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell really love to have you here and really love to have your input on how you feel about budgeting and the things and the steps you took to get out of debt or to take control of your finances yourself so we're going to actually have like some little props so we can kind of you know go walk through do some little bit of examples so that um we can make it a little bit fun and not just uh, a drag <laughs> so um yeah we're going to actually pretty much do that so the first thing we need to figure out is what is the cash envelope system so to make it simple is just a method of budgeting where you take cash that you're allocating into different envelopes and you have like specific categories for when you're spending like groceries transportation entertainment um like gym just and so on so any categories that you can think that you have trouble with spending your money and you overspend oh mine's is i i overspend in cups um i love cups so that's why i have a cash envelope for cups because your girl want a stanley cup because i love lots of ice cubes lots of ice cubes okay all right so basically these envelopes represents different areas and different things that you have in your budget so by using your cash which usually when i use my cash i don't want to part with it i do a lot better using cash and i do my check card because i can't actually see that cash leaving my hand so if you're saying i ah, know i don't want to deal with the cash or whatever just try it for a, a couple days or whatever whatnot maybe a week and i'm telling you it is so harder to give somebody cash your hard-earned cash instead of just giving your card and say Poop, swipe swipe let's hear the let's hear the credit card swipe let's hear it y'all hear it okay <laughs> yeah it is so much easier to not want to part with your money and when you have your envelopes it's more easier to say hey i only have ten dollars left in eating out so i need to go home and i need to make me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and that's what i'm taking for lunch tomorrow or i don't have this much money left for gas so um instead of me sitting there hot riding it and just riding around cruising i need to stay my butt at home and save some gas okay so we're going to talk about setting up your cash envelopes so before you actually set up your cash envelopes you want to make sure i know the cash envelopes are fun the savings challenges are fun but you want to make sure that you have your budget put together first and i know when i first started cash envelopes i was actually pretty much just saying like just just trying to do the cash envelopes because i thought it was fun and i was i was like oh let me just do this but i was finding out that i was pretty much short on cash and short on payments that i needed to make for my monthly payments things that i needed to pay so Basically, what you want to do is you want to find you a budgeting system that works for you. And you, like I always tell you guys, you can use any type of budgeting system that you that you want to use. Notebook paper. Um, if you have a favorite budgeter that you use their budget system that works for you, go ahead, do it. So here, what we're going to do is just like here, I'm just going to do like some random income. We're going to do this really quick and then we're going to get hot back to the um, envelopes. But you have to know what you have left in order to be able to do your cash envelopes and a lot of people say you want to pay yourself first for your savings so that's totally up to you and how much you want to put towards debt 
because the name of the game is that you do want to hurry up and get your debt taken care of. Now, I did put the savings challenges and sinking funds because these are just a little bit of icing that's on the top of the cake. You don't have to actually do sinking funds. You don't have to do savings challenges to keep the lights on in your house. That was my little clip, y'all. But the bills, the monthly bills, like your electric bill, your water bill, your car insurance, those are things that you need to get paid. All right, so we're gonna say just um, payday is on. We're gonna say, hey, we get paid on the 20th. This is a weekly paycheck. So we're gonna say that our monthly income is $1,000. So I budgeted for 900, but I actually had, we're just gonna keep it at 1,000. We're just gonna keep it at easy math, <laughs> easy as possible. So let's just say we have an electric bill. We have our car payment and thank God, I don't have a car payment. I paid that off. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's just say we have a WOTA bill. Because you got to have your WOTA bill. All right, so we're going to do fifth, fifth. These are due on the fifth. Making it simple. So I budgeted for the electric bill to be, we're going to say 200 because that electric bill is expensive. And we're going to try to keep it realistic as we can. <laughs> car payment, let's say 350 WOTA bill, let's say $70. We're going to do 70 Okay. All right. So actual, we actually paid this amount. So we're going to do 350 and we got $70. All right. So no overage or no shortage. And we paid on the fifth and we're just going to pay all of these on the fifth. All right. So I'm going to bring down my amounts because actually I made $1,000. This is exactly what I got. This is what I thought I was going to get because that was budgeted. So let's go ahead and add up probably could add this myself but we're gonna be safe and use this calculator because that's what this calculator is so all right so we have 620 all right Ooh, this is getting caught on my shirt okay so we have 620 so what i do is like a check ledger i'm taking a thousand two hundred from a thousand which is 800 Ooh, i'm getting into um some um strenuous math <laughs> so 350 so that leaves us with 450 okay all right, so then we have $70, okay? So we're gonna take minus $70. Okay, so that's leaving us with $380. All right, so we're doing a low income budget. So just say this is all that we have to work with because not everybody has $5,000 left over. Not everybody has 2,000 or you might not even have 1,000. So whatever you have left over, this is what you're gonna use for your rest of your budget so we're getting to it to figure out what we need for um our cash envelopes because by using your cash you're forced to stick to your budget and because once the money runs out you know you it, it's gone and you can't be spending from other categories because i remember when i first started i was pulling from other categories pulling from my buffer my checking but i realized that that did not work so savings we're just going to do i only have 25 dollars that i budgeted for my bracelets in here and we only did $25 so what I'm trying to do is show you guys how I'm getting to the cash envelopes because I like I said cash envelopes are fun to do but you have to make sure your budget your paycheck is pretty much this is like your base your meat you have to make sure this is all taken care of before you do cash envelopes because otherwise you want to be dipping in this going back here to put this here and these cash envelopes and going in your savings and stuff and that's not going to work let's say um I have a grants card I'm going to take $10 out of that. An actual, so $10. So we got $25. So what we have left, so we're going to take this $380 minus $25. All right, $10. All right, so we have $345 left that we can actually play with. We're, we're just going to do for just for play here. What? So right. basically what you do is you figure out, am I going to do sinking funds or am I going to do some savings challenges or whatever, whatnot? Am I going to take this whole amount? Am I going to just use that for cash envelopes, sinking funds, savings challenge? So it's pretty much like the extra is on this page and the you need to do this is on this page. So what I have is for my envelopes, I'm gonna move this over. All right, so 
what I've done for mine is I have identified my spending categories. So this is what you need to do. What is something that you are always spending your money on when you look at your receipts that's left over in your purse, crumpled up, and you like, grand day, like a week later, you're like, oh my goodness, you mean to tell me I spent $13 on a salad or I spent $50 on a purse? And then I stopped at 7-Eleven and I got some, um, some little um, Twinkie cakes. And all that came up to the Twinkie cakes were like, six dollars what in the world what you need to do is identify your spending categories so these are all my spending categories and i know these aren't like the normal which you can use different types of binders these aren't the normal um envelopes that i use i like these because these are more discreet when i'm in the store and if there's like too many people in the store and i don't feel comfortable taking all my envelopes i will bust one of these numbers like this and i will just go through my wallet do like this, lift it up just a little bit because it's just like how a man does his wallet, how he takes his little cash, lifts it up a little bit <laughs> and pull it out. So that's what I pretty much use. I like using this wallet for, um, but these are cute too. I do like using the, um, you know, the binder. Depends on where I'm going and how I'm feeling. All right, so this is another one. And then another wallet that you can actually use. I know we have the disbound wallets that people use too. I really love this too, these wallets. Let me turn it this way so you can see it. So you have these categories also in um, envelope wallets that you can, you can use whatever you want to use for your cash envelope wallets. Okay, so first we're gonna identify spending categories. So you take a look at your past expenses. Like I said, I find receipts that were in my purse that were crumpled up or receipts that I had that I look back and I say, I paid that much for a salad or I, I spent like $50 at the Dollar Tree last week. What in the world? I don't even know what I got. I don't even know what I got. So once you determine where your money is going and you can just line up your receipts. So let's just say if we had, if I saw a Dollar Tree envelope and I spent $10. I see a CVS one and I spent $10. If I see a Food Lion receipt and I spent $125. If I see a Crisp receipt and I spent um, $15. If I seen a McDonald's receipt, I spent $12. You know, so that way I can go and say, hey, I'm spending way too much in food. So I need to figure out, I need to set a budget for my food. And so that way I'm only spending $25 a week or I'm only spending $20 a week. And I need to maximize on my food line, my groceries, so I can incorporate making something to take with me to work or to have, you know, make my own lunch. All right, so some common categories that a lot of people have that I have in mind is groceries. That's a common one, gas is a common one and this one right here this is just my manifest i know people always ask me what is that million dollars in your thing this is my manifest bill yes ma'am one million this is my manifest bill <laughs> all right so another common thing people have i don't think people have dollar tree in there but i have seen where some people say hey i added a dollar tree envelope in my <clears throat> in my envelopes all right, so eat out is another common and I always like to do extra cash just in case if I sell things like on the marketplace or stuff like that. All right, um, and then usually people have Dunkin', but I just have Joe Bing's because that's what we have here. And usually people have, let's see, what else? I think I said household items because that's a lot we have there. So once you do that, you want to write all your categories down on there because you're not gonna have them on your envelopes first. You write all of them down and once like I would have like I would write down Chris, gas, groceries, all those and say, hey, OK, so these are all of the categories that I need to, you know, check, keep check of my spending and, you know, make sure that I'm not overspending. So once you do that, you can label your envelopes and you can do different types of labels like I have these labels for my envelopes here and then. Like these right here, these are envelopes that I make and these are how I have these pretty much labeled there. And these are, so you can pretty much label them however you, and there's a lot of different shops, Etsy shops that do different um, labels for, you know, for cash envelopes. And then I have these where I labeled just my envelopes like this. So that is how that is right there. So once you've labeled your envelopes and you have all of your categories, this is the part that will help you stay 
organized. And if you ever need to redo your envelopes or anything like that, just make you a new envelope or you can peel off the label and put another label on there. Super easy, nothing stressful. So now what we do, so once you come here, the categories that you have, and this is, I'm gonna show you in my budget planner what I do because it's almost time for my um, next cash stuff and so I can show you guys that. So let's just take this for example. As you can see, all of my cash envelopes that I have here, I have Chris, Joe Beans, Dollar Tree, Personal, Eat Out, Gas, Household, Groceries, and Aiden. So I do put what I have left over because that way I can see what I've had for the last week. And these, because I know I used to always spend a lot at Chris because I stayed at Chris. So a salad is $15. So you can just brainstorm on notes. So that's why I ended up putting $15 in there. Joe Beans, I have a gift card, so I didn't need to put any money in there. So once you do it every week, it's not probably going to be the same. So you're going to have to sit down, put some time aside and say like, hey, for Dollar Tree, do I really need to go to the Dollar Tree? I'm only going to spend $10 or personal. Do I need to get any personal items this week or do I have enough to last me until my next paycheck? So I just gave myself $30 to eat out. I kind of mesh this with groceries. So it depends on how much groceries I have is how much I do for eat out because sometimes if I don't get enough groceries, well not enough, but I will always leave like a cushion for eat out just in case of those nights that I have, I come late and I don't have time to eat. We can just stop gas, same thing. You check your envelope from last time. Did you use all your gas? Was the gas money that you put in before, was that enough? Do you need to add more to it? So it's kind of like you go, you kind of like figuring out brainstorming and you're tweaking it every single time. Or sometimes if you didn't work as many hours as you did last week, you're gonna have to adjust that. So don't feel like every week you have to put the same envelope. So it's always like a changing. So that's how I actually, um, oh yeah. Here's my Joe Beans gift card. So that's how I figure out my um, envelopes there. All right, so now the next thing is you want to allocate your cash to your envelopes. So like I said, the amount that you have each week, a lot of people, what they do is they have like a cash tray. You don't have to get a cash tray. You can pretty much take your cash and just pretty much, um, I'm gonna take some, with well, this cash, I have to cash stuff anyway. So you just pretty much take your cash, and this is all, and you just pretty much line it up. You don't need a cash, but I have a cash tray. When you first start and you don't have money to buy a cash tray, line that junk right up on that desk like that, and that looks just as beautiful as it does a cash tray. So you're pretty much going to line it up, and you're going to say, hey, I'm going to allocate one to one dollar to Joe Beans. So you're going to put that in the envelope. I'm not going to put this in there because this right here, I have to finish figuring it out for my cash stuffing. All right, so for Chris, you're gonna say, hey, Chris, I'm gonna do $20. So you take 20 bucks, put it in here. All right, so next you take, if you say, hey, gas, last time I put 60, but all I need is $40 because I already have 50. So you can pretty much cut back on things that you don't need a lot in. And just because you have the extra, you don't mean you have to put it in there. You know what I'm saying? Because I know sometimes the thing is, if you have extra, you're going to want to spend it just because it's in there. But you can say, hey, I did 60 last week. I have 50 left. Let me just put 40. So you can just put 40 into your envelope there. Now, now that your envelopes are pretty much set up, it's pretty much time to start using your envelopes. All right, let me put this money back in here before I get it <laughs> all mixed up. Okay, so when you need to make a purchase, now some people do this with their credit card, they just leave this in there and they just keep track of what they spend. So at the end of the month when they need to pay their credit card back, they just pull the cash out of the envelope, put it in a, um, I got this all turned up, put it in a envelope and take it back to the bank. So that's where you see I have, where are you at? I have bank run. So bank run would be money that I would actually, you know, take back to the bank. So, so once you go to the store, 
I mean, this is, I know people are saying like, hey girl, that is simple, but some, some we have to, you know, I want to make sure that I'm explaining it easily. So when I go to crisp, if I have $15 in here, that the total is $13. So what I do is pull out my 10 and my five, give it to them, the change that I have left. I put my money in here and I have a coin pouch that I actually put my coins in because y'all know that I do have little coin containers because I do wrap those up. And this is a good way to actually also save a Again, because the coins that you save you can actually use that to pay debt put in your savings or you can use it to cash it in to just reuse it for the next week so you can just kind of reuse it so one thing you have to remember is that once that money is gone that money is gone because I know that was hard for me I just kept picking out of other um, envelopes until I figured out that Tina, that ain't the way to go and that is not how so as you can see some of my envelopes are empty and um i'm just have to wait until the next cash stuffing and then that way you will you know what i'm saying you will pretty much get yourself into a routine of saying hey i don't have any money and then it gets to the point where it doesn't even bother you anymore that that envelope is empty so my question to you guys is so would you consider using the cash envelope system do you think it's easy do you think it will be complicated to start or do you feel like no i'm gonna keep using my credit card and i'll pay it at the end of the month or you feel like i think that's a good system i think i may give it a try so first of all it will seriously you will hear a lot of different budgeters saying this has helped them get out of debt help them um, pay off their cars buy houses um, pay off their student loans do like different things and avoid overspending because since you're limiting your cash you are less likely to buy stuff and like i said when you see that money in your hands you are going to be like i am not spending my money and i was kind of like oh my gosh i cannot believe i'm not spending my money so it 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 was like a game changer so and then last but not least it does reduce financial stress so knowing that you do have money set aside and also this preps you to be able to save larger amounts so that if you do see if you do save larger amounts and you see something and you ask yourself do i really need it so you'll be more mindful of and strategic on what you spend your money on Guys, so, thank you so much for watching in conclusion as you can see the envelope system has done wonders for me and i have no intentions of stop doing the cash envelope system so thank you guys so much for watching and if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tips on personal finances and budgeting and like i always say until next time guys peace